<laughs> and who knows, after a few years of work, I may want to go back to school. With your degree in chemistry, have you ever thought about medical school? That would take up a lot of time and money. But I know that someday I'm going to want to have a family. Well, you could be a doctor and have a family, too. <laughs> a lot of crazy people have tried that. Uh, it's just a dream. Oh, hey, I'm just kidding. If that's what you want, go for it. In a way, you may be right, though. I look at my family and I see how close we are. You know, I know it's a terrible thing to say, but I really have to wonder if we'd be that close if my mom had a career in anything. That's a refreshing point of view. It's not really a point of view. Maybe an indictment of your father? He left us a little over seven years ago. Oh, no. That's too bad. We've managed. Yeah, but not without a few rough times, I imagine. Builds character. Builds beauty, too. <laughs> OK, enough about me. <laughs> I want to hear about your job. Uh, well, I go in, I work, and I come home. Oh, he's exaggerating. It's not that exciting. <laughs> oh, your lives are so unreal to me. To live in a place like this, work in a place like Forrester, to actually be a Forrester. Well, sometimes, Brooke, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Well, you're not exactly out checking the want ads. No. But I have been offered an interesting position recently. Very interesting position. Another job? Yeah. Come on. No, I'm serious. Where? I tell you what, if I take it, you'll be the first to know. Does Ridge know? No, I haven't told anyone. And I don't want anyone to know. But we're being rude to our lovely guest here. Would you mm. like some more iced tea? I'll get it. You brought your friend. For the umpteenth time, her name is Brooke. Brooke. Uh, is she pretty? You saw her at the party. She's adorable. And Thorne's out there with her now? Alone? Just the two of them. Good. Let's go. Wait, where? Those two don't need us. Rich, we can't just leave them out there. Why not? They're consenting adults. Don't be silly. Caroline, we're trying to match these two up. No, you're trying to match these two up. I came over here with Brooke to swim and play tennis. Now I have to get them some iced tea. All right, all right. I think I have a better idea anyway. You're pushing it, Ridge. Damn right I am. The sooner he's involved, the sooner he backs off and stays away from you. And we are about to make romance. Irresistible. Yeah, we lived down on South Bedford for a few years. Till Dad found this place and remodeled it. I've never seen anything like it. Everything is so perfect. You know what I like the best about it? What? The peace and serenity. Some mornings, I get up before dawn, and the sky is that cobalt blue color. The birds are just starting to sing. 
loaf around the grounds and maybe see a deer. And I think to myself, I wonder what it would be like if everyone on Earth one day got up before dawn to watch the sunrise. I wonder what kind of a day that would be for the world. <sighs> Sounds crazy, doesn't it? No, not at all. Maybe it would be the day something great happened. I like to think so. Someone out here ordered iced tea? <clears throat> Me. Hi, I'm Rich Forrester. Hi, Brooke Logan. Caroline was right. You are very lovely. It's your home. Anybody could look lovely here. Very nice of you. It's true. I was just telling Thorne that it's like paradise up here. I want to thank you both for allowing me to come up. Oh, thank Caroline. It was all her idea. And from now on, we want you to feel free to come up here whenever you want. Right, Thorne? Absolutely. Well, darling, why don't you and I get in the water and leave these two to their conversation or whatever? Well, maybe Brooke would like to join us. I'd like that. Then what are we waiting for? What indeed. <laughs> Whoa! Um, how about one of these? Mm. <laughs> it's uh that's even better. Each one better than the last. Mm. Each one an individual delight. You know, we can market these. Yeah, individual delights. Found at your neighborhood grocery dairy counter. <laughs> You two are getting sillier by the minute. We're just having fun. Well, why don't you come over here and have fun? Oh. Mm. Mm. Want some? No, thanks. It's not your role tonight. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Thorne, why don't you hit the lights? While you're at it, put on some music. Something romantic. Very romantic. Get anyone anything? That's what we pay Maria for, Thorne. Relax. Let's all do something. Good idea. Excellent idea. Let's dance. That Brooke would like to dance, too. Look, 
I'm, I'm really sorry. About what? On the number he's pulling out there. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Funny? Well, yeah, it's so obvious what he's trying to do. Do you and he usually relate like this? You know, there's always been a rivalry, but recently it's gotten a little out of hand. But I'm really sorry that you got hooked into this. Am I complaining? No, maybe you should. Thorn, I have two sisters and a brother of my own. I know what it's like. None of that bothered you? I feel privileged just to be here with you people. No, none of it bothered me. I found it entertaining. <laughs> well, have you seen the house? No, not the whole thing. Well, would you like to? I'd love to. Certo, andiamo. <laughs> Rich. What's wrong? I don't feel right about this. About what? You put my friend in a very compromising position. Thorn, you mean? No sweat, he can handle it. I'm talking about Brooke and you know it. Darling, as sure as we're standing here, they're getting to know each other quite well. Well, I'm not so sure of that. If I was Thorn, I'd be searching for your father's shotgun right now. For being encouraged to move on a beautiful woman like that? He ought to thank me. That wasn't encouragement. It was blatant matchmaking at its worst. I happen to think it was very smooth. Smooth? Yeah. That was about as graceful as a mud wrestling match. They're together, aren't they? Who said they wanted to be together? I did. It keeps him away from you. That's what you want, too, don't you? I'm going inside. Are you coming? What for? To apologize. We owe them at least that. I have nothing to apologize for. Caroline, you never answered my question. Do you want Thorne to back off? Or don't you?